Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I'm going to show you my entire owned TBR. So this is the second time I've done this. I'm kind of making it an annual thing. And about this time last year, I did do an entire own TBR video. I will link this up here for you in case you want to check that out. Some of those books are still here, but that brings me to something I would like to preface before this video. I know that I have a very large TBR, but I kind of like it that way. I like to have a lot of books. I kind of like the idea of having my own personal library. And I like that my TBR is bigger than the amount of books that I've read. And the main reason that it is bigger than the books that I've read on my shelves is because if I don't like a book, I unhaul it and then I replace it with books that I'm excited to read. I would like to say that I have no idea how many I have. Last year when I did this, I had 244 books on my TBR. This year, I'm not entirely sure because I have done three unhauls. I've read more books this year than I ever have done before, but I have also bought quite a lot of books. So the number could be anything really. And unlike last year, I haven't even counted to give myself like a benchmark. I'm just gonna go straight into it and we're gonna find out at the end what that number is. So getting into it, I'm not going to tell you anything about the book because there are a lot. I'm just going to tell you the name of the book and the name of the author. So first up we have the classics, the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien, Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray, Alfred Tennyson in Memoriam, Maud and Other Poems by Alfred Tennyson, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Les Miserables Volume 1 and Volume 2. Two by Victor Hugo, A Room with a View by E. M. Forster, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle, and Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Monstrous Volume 1 by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda, Rat Queens Volume 2 by Curtis J. Weeb, Rock Upchurch, and Stepan Sejci. What I Was by Meg Rosoff, Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, Cloud of Sparrows by Takashi Matsuoka, A Lion Among Men by Gregory Maguire, Mirror Mirror also by Gregory Maguire, Wither and Fever by Lauren Stefano, The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey, and Burton on Burton by Tim Burton. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, Defiance by C.J. Redwine, Exile by Rebecca Lim, <coughs> The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, Changeling and Stormbringer by Philippa Gregory, Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray, The Savage Grace and The Dark Divine by Brie de Spain, City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, The Last Namsara and The Cage Queen by Kristen Cicerelli, The Magician's Apprentice by Trudy Canavan, Summer Night, Death Mask, Grave Peril and Stormfront by Jim Butcher. I did read these when I was younger but I literally remember nothing and want to reread them. Red Rising by Pierce Brown, Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne by Kendall Blake, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders, The Power by Naomi Alderman, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, By the Pricking of My Thumbs, N or M, and The Postern of Fate by Agatha Christie, The Demon King by Cinder Williams Chimer, the Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, The Crown, The Air, the One, The Elite, and The Selection by Kira Cass, Graceling and Fire by Kristen Kishaw, Size 12 is Not Fat and Size 14 is Not Fat either, When Lightning Strikes, Codename Cassandra, Safe House, Sanctuary, Insatiable, Overbite, and Airhead by Meg Cabot. With the exception of these two, I have actually read all of these Meg Cabot books, but when I was very young and I want to reread them. Ink Heart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death by Cornelia Funk, I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman, Sharp Objects and Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, The Talon of the Silver Hawk by Raymond E. Feist, The Diamond Throne by David Eddings, The Truth About Forever, That Summer, and Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviathan, Let It Snow by, oh you can't see that, John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle, an Abundance of Catherines by John Green, Berserk, Light, Lies, and Gone by Michael Grant, The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George, Dangerous Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, The Lie Tree and Cuckoo Song by Francis Hardinge, Unearthly by Cynthia Hand, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han and Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton, Marley and Me by John Grogan, 
The White Queen by Philippa Gregory, The Killing Moon, and The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, The Midnight Queen by Sylvia Hunter, The Lost Book of Salem by Catherine Howe, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Ascend and Lullaby by Amanda Hocking, Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, The Enemy by Charlie Higson, although I don't plan on reading this, I tried it and I DNF'd it, but I this was the only book I bought when I went to New York, so I want to keep it. Tess of the Road and Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Dead Ever After, Deadlocked, Dead in the Family, A Touch of Dead, Dead and Gone, From Dead to Worse, Altogether Dead, Definitely Dead, Dead as a Doornail, Dead Reckoning, Dead to the World, Club Dead, Living Dead in Dallas, and Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Maffey, The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch, Warcross by Marie Lou, The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord, Every Day by David Leviathan, Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence, Good Me Bad Me by Ali Land, Life on the Refrigerator Door by Alice Quipper, Quipper, Illuminae by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman, Lifelike by J. Christoph, Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll, You by Caroline Kepnes, The Duff by Cody Keplinger, Winter Song by S.J. Jones, First Grave on the Right and Fifth Grave Past the Light by Dorinda Jones, The Novice by Taryn Mathero, Blood and Ice by Robert Masello, A Dance with Dragons Part 1, Dreams and Dust, A Dance with Dragons Part 2, after the Feast, A Feast for Crows, A Storm of Swords Part 1, Steel and Snow, A Storm of Swords Part 2, Blood and Gold, A Clash of Kings, and A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, Daughter of the Flames by Zoe Marriott, Let's Get Lost by Sarah Manning, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, What the Dickens by Gregory Maguire, A Wild Sheep Chase, Norwegian Wood, Colourless Sukuru Tazaki, and 1Q84 Part 1 by Haruki Murakami, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, The 100 by Cass Morgan, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de Zoet, Number 9 Dream, and Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, Hammer of God, Innocent Mage, Awakened Mage, Empress, and The Riven Kingdom by Karen Miller, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult, Dorothy Must Die Stories Volumes 1 and 2, The Wicked Will Rise, and Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, Uprooted and Temera by Naomi Novik, Us, The Understudy, and Start of Ten by David Nichols, The Elites by Natasha Nyan, Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle, The Rest of Us Just Live Here, More Than This, A Monster Calls, The Ask and the Answer, and The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, Hollow City, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Interview with a Vampire, and The Vampire Lestat by Anne Rice, Crystal Storm, Frozen Tides, Gathering Darkness, Rebel Spring, and Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, Are These My Bazoomers I See Before Me, and Withering Tights by Louise Renison, The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel, There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, The Boy with the Porcelain Blade by Dem Patrick, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, The Wise Man's Fear, and The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Into the Still Blue, Through the Evernight, and Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, The Dark Vault, Our Dark Duet, and This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, The Tower of the Swallow by Andre Sub Subkowski, the Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, The Hero of the Ages, The Alloy of Law, and Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson, The Scarecrow Queen by Melinda Salisbury, Nerve by Gian Ryan, Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, The Winner's Crime and The Winner's Curse by Marie Rakoski, The Raven Boys, Forever, Lament, and Ballad by Maggie Stevata, Magic Study, Fire Study, and Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder, Scythe by Neil Shusterman, Wanted, Heartless, Unbelievable, Perfect, Flawless, Pretty Little Liars, Two Truths and a Lie, Never Have I Ever, and The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye, Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian, Specials, Extras, Pretties, and Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, The Distance Between Us by Casey West, Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson, All Is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker, We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach, The Last Boy and Girl in the World by Siobhan Vivian, The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor, Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor, the Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, Gossip Girl, You Know You Love Me, All I Want Is Everything, Because I'm Worth It, I Like It Like That, You're the One That I Want, Nobody Does It Better, Only In Your Dreams, Nothing Can Keep Us Together, Would I Lie To You, <laughs> Don't Forget About Me, It Had To Be You, The Gossip Girl Prequel, The It Girl, Infamous, 
Reckless and Notorious by Cicely Von Ziegazar. The Replacement by Brenna Yovanoff. Sun is also a Star by Nicola Yoon. 6-4 by Hideo Yokoyama. Savages by Don Wilmslow. And I Darken by Kirsten White. The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. We're on the last stack, guys. <laughs> the Language of Thorns and Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Maas. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. Bonfire by Kristen Ritter. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Days of Blood and Starlight. And Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. And then, last but not least, 100 Pages of Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas which is what I'm currently reading. Okay, so as I'm filming this, I have absolutely no idea what that number is, but I think it's a lot. It took me a long time to film it. it took me over an hour, I think, to film this video. So I'm gonna go and edit this, but I will put the number up on the screen, big numbers, for you to see. I'm, I think it's gonna be slightly more than last year, but not like a huge amount more, because I have cleared some of these shelves that were empty last year and filled them with books like down at the bottom. And like I've put all my hardbacks over there. So I think it may be a little bit more than it was last year, but that's okay, because I'm reading more and more every year. But that is everything for this video. Please let me know which of these you think I should prioritize. Can't promise I will, because um, there's a whole lot of books and not a lot of time. But please don't forget to also like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head to my description box, you'll find a link to my Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads if you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Bookish Body Butter and Candle website, the Instagram for that and 10% off discount code. That's it from me today. Bye! Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate You say you will go when nobody knows With guns in under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no